I'm Laura Jones, I'm an artist and I live in Sydney. I often go out to the Blue Mountains to collect flowers, pick flowers for my still life paintings. There's some beautiful gardens out there that are sort of in my sort of family and family friends so it's a handy place to go and collect material because I can go for walks and see what's around and pick it myself and think about my paintings whilst I'm picking. It's really interesting when people find out I paint flowers they always have a story, some sort of association with an important time in their life. I mean, it's obvious but you know weddings, births, funerals, um, flowers are always present at every important occasion in people's life, both like the really mundane occasions but the really special ones as well. You know, I started painting flowers when perhaps I wasn't having the best time in my life personally, but they were really enriching, beautiful thing to engage with that focus on what is positive in life. Um, I always paint from life, so I like to make the arrangement in the studio, set it up from scratch, play with the different sort of backgrounds and cloths and vases and all the other elements of the painting and see what works with the flowers that I've happened to pick. I bring them in and I paint them from life. They come into the studio and they last for a few days and then they die. So I really enjoy that cycle of life kind of in the micro there. You know, they come in, I paint them, I cut them up, throw them out, sweep the floor, start again, bring new flowers in. So I made a painting um, for a very, very, very old friend um, and our, her father and our close family friend passed away um, about a year ago and his favourite flower um, it was camellias and the, he also was a potter. Um, so I made a painting um, of the, his favourite flower in a pot that he made for his family, which was a really nice thing for me to do, but a nice thing for them too. It's just a, I don't know, a, a reminder of him and what he did and what he loved. And I think that human beings are really drawn to flowers and nature because they can see themselves in, in it. And it's um, a reminder of our sort of fragility and um, our strength and yeah flowers are really a beautiful metaphor for all parts of life.